Hello and welcome to this video on using FacePager to extract Facebook page data. In this video, I will show you how to use FacePager to extract data from Facebook pages. FacePager is a very versatile tool where you can extract data from various social media platforms such as YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Amazon. You can download the program from this link and then you can install it on your machine, whether it's a PC or a Mac. I have used FacePager extensively in my own research. In this example, I used the Hong Kong Police Force Facebook page as a case study and I looked at around seven months worth of Facebook posts and comments. And among the uh, findings included, for example, the overall engagement over time. So how many people engaged with the uh, posts of the page. Also, I looked at some of the keywords, some recurring keywords over time uh, in the Facebook posts and comments. I also looked at the structure of engagement. So the relationship between the posts and the users. However, with the uh, update of the Facebook API, um, we can no longer collect information on users. So therefore, we can no longer do these kind of maps or network graphs that require user information. Also, we have to remem uh, remember what data we can collect. So we can only collect Facebook data from public pages such as organizations, political parties, politicians, celebrities. But of course, we cannot collect data from private Facebook groups and individuals. So even before we start using FacePager, we have to be cognizant of what data we are able to collect and not able to collect. And this is not due to the functionality of FacePager, but the uh, limitations placed by Facebook on its API. Okay, let's get started. Before we look into FacePager, let's look at our before and after. The before is of course the Facebook page that you want to extract information from. Um, so I'm using this example of the Hong Kong Science Park, which is an organization that promotes internet startups uh, in Hong Kong and around the region. It's a typical Facebook organization page with your posts and, and various visuals such as videos and uh, photos. And with FacePager, what I want to do is I want to essentially have a tabulated table of all the posts. And uh, for example, um, when the posts were posted, um, the, uh, the content of the messages, um, the links to the pictures and the videos. And also, of course, we would like to have the uh, uh, engagement metrics such as number of shares, uh, number of comments and the various reactions such as wow, haha, likes and so forth. So this is our end result of what we are trying to do uh, and create with FacePager. After you've decided which Facebook page or Facebook pages you want to extract information from, the next step is to collect all the Facebook IDs that identify that page. Every Facebook page has its own unique ID and you won't usually find this information uh, on the actual page. So you may need to go to a um, Facebook ID finder uh, website. Uh, this is one example. And the idea is very straightforward. You will just copy the URL link of the Facebook page and then you will paste it in the ID finder box and then click on find numeric ID. And the result is the unique ID of the Hong Kong Science Park page. And this is the ID that we will use in FacePager to extract information from the Hong Kong Science Park page. Now we are ready to start FacePager. When you open FacePager, it will look something like this. Because we are using Facebook, uh, we want to make sure that we click on the Facebook tab. And uh, also, before we continue, it's worth to uh, just to remind you that FacePager has a very helpful uh, series of 
of tutorials and articles and even a Facebook group that will guide you and, and tell you more about the FacePager software and what it, it can do. So I've selected the Facebook module and then I need to do two things. Number one is to set up a new database where all the data that you collected is stored. So I'm going to do that uh, and then you'll get this pop-up and I'm going to just type in um, the name of the uh, database. And the second thing is you need to log, on, log into uh, Facebook. Okay, so I will do this off screen. Okay, so we have a new database created and now we've logged into Facebook. So the next step is we can start to uh, uh, extract information from the uh, Facebook page. So the first thing we need to do is click on Add Node. And Add Node means the object ID of what you want to extract information from. And for our purposes, the object ID is the um, Facebook ID. So I'm going to copy and paste the Facebook ID of the Hong Kong Science Park Facebook page into um, this box. And of course, if you are uh, to, if you want to analyze and extract information from multiple pages, then of course you can add multiple uh, Facebook IDs into this uh, box. And what we have now is our Facebook page uh, as our seed. And so now we are ready to uh, extract and, down and download information uh, related to the posts. The next step is to establish your download parameters and what information that you want to collect from the Facebook page. So this is determined by these settings down here, which is essentially the uh, connections to the Facebook uh, API. If you're unfamiliar with how the Facebook API functions, that's fine because FacePager already have a few presets that you can use uh, to, um, to specify what parameters uh, you want. So for example, so for Facebook, um, let's imagine that I want to collect Facebook posts. I will click on that. And so uh, it's, again, it's worth reading the, uh, the logic and rationale of how the uh, API works to give you a deeper understanding of what you're actually doing. And then uh, when you're ready, you can press apply. When you press apply, the uh, settings will already be uh, put into the respective boxes. For limit, this one means that it will limit to 20 posts, but of course you can also specify a high number. But bear in mind that there are limits to the Facebook API, so it's worth um, not trying to download everything at once, but work incrementally. So after I have specified the search parameters and the download parameters, I'm ready to collect the, po um, collect the posts. So I'll just highlight the seed here and then click on Fetch Data. And I should get um, my 20 posts right here. And so what information do, have I collected? I've basically collected the, uh, the mess messages and uh, when the messages were created and when the messages were updated. On the uh, right side, you uh, here you have the JSON output uh, for those of you who, who are familiar with JSON. And in this box, the custom table columns specifies what information is shown in this main window here. Now, as you can see, uh, this doesn't give us a lot of information. For example, this preset doesn't give us the uh, reactions and doesn't give us the links to the photos or the pictures. So what you need to do is to expand this field parameter to get more um, data from the posts. And, uh, and so the next thing is to identify what fields you need to use. 
The presets will give you additional ideas. For example, to download uh, images, you have a few, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a few codes here. Uh, to get the reactions, you have a few parameters here. So what I've done is I have summarized the uh, uh, parameters like so. Okay, so for example, um, you get the, the post ID, the actual message, uh, who the post is from, and created time. Also, you have other parameters like the type of post it is. For example, is it a, a picture post or a video post? Um, um, the link to the video, um, the picture, this provides the thumbnail of the picture, and the full picture provides the uh, uh, full-sized picture. So later on, I will show you how these can be actually downloaded from the Facebook page, and uh, whether there are any attachments. And then here you have the um, basic uh, metrics kind of parameters, like how many shares, how many comments, how many total reactions, and the number of the specific reactions, like like, love, haha, wow, sad, angry, and so on. So these are the parameters that you can actually uh, enter into the, uh, the fields box to get more uh, information. So I'm just going to delete um, the data that I collected. So you can just highlight the nodes and then uh, delete the nodes. But I, of course, I keep the seed. So now I'm back to where I was. And so I'm going to just add some more fields uh, to, sorry, add some more parameters to the fields uh, to get more uh, data. So the easy way to do that is just to uh, click on uh, the, the dot dot here. So you can just uh, add it uh, like so. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to copy and paste the, uh, the various um, parameters that I showed you earlier. And then I will generate the, uh, uh, the search again. So I'll press fetch data. And now I get um, the data that I would like to see. But you may wonder, well, where are the reactions? Where are the, uh, the links and so forth? The thing is, uh, we need to uh, use this table here, custom table columns, uh, in order to um, specify what we want to see. So I'm going to clear the columns first. And then I'm just going to highlight one post. And then you can look at the JSON. Now, this is all the information that's collected based on our parameters. So we need to organize our columns to display the data that we want to display. So what do we want to display? Well, I want to know the ID and name of the source. So I'm just going to uh, click on ID and add column. So you can see uh, the ID column is added here and also added in the actual uh, main window. I want the name of who posted the message. So that would be Hong Kong Science Park. I want the created time. So when the post was posted. The type of post <clears throat> is a photo. I want to have a link to the photo. Uh, I want to have a link to the thumbnail and also the full picture. And then I go down. Oh, I forgot. Also, you want to have the actual message as well. So I want the message. Of course, you can reorder the columns. For example, if I want my message to be earlier, then I can just copy. Sorry, I can cut and paste this. Um, I want the message after created time and then paste. And then apply column setup. And this would rearrange the, uh, the columns. The next series of data I want to get are the uh, metrics. So I want to get the number of shares. So share count. I want to add that.
I want to have the total count for the comments. I want to have the uh, total count for reactions. So reactions contains all the reactions like like, haha, wow, and so forth. And then I would like to have the uh, individual reactions like like, I want the total for like, the total for love, the total for haha, and so on. So now I have generated all the uh, information that I would want to have in my table. And then the next step would be simply to export the data uh, into a spreadsheet. And FacePager by default will export the data under the CSV format. So I'll press export data and then I will do this off screen and then just type in a, a name for my a CSV file. Okay, and so that's basically it. This is how you can uh, generate a tabulated um, spreadsheet of the Facebook posts in the Facebook page. The CSV file that we created only contains textual information. If we also want to extract the photos, we can also do that through FacePager. And we can use the generic module here. And all you have to do is to specify in the base path the, uh, uh, the name of the uh, parameter that we want to extract. And so because we want to extract a picture, our parameter would be picture. So I would first have a placeholder and then insert the word picture. And also you need, need to specify the download location. So I created a folder called Facebook Photos on my desktop, and this will be where the photos will be stored. And after I've done this, then I'm ready to um, extract the photos by first highlighting the posts and then clicking Fetch Data. And this will, uh, as you can see, start to extract the photos. So these are the photos. As you can see, the photos are uh, identified by the post ID, so it's very easy to link the photos to each post based on their shared IDs. Picture only gives you the thumbnail sized um, photo. If you want to have the original size photos, then you need to use the full picture uh, command. And then I can fetch data again and then you should get the full-sized uh, picture or the original size picture. Again, it is the full-size pictures are identified by the post ID, so it's very easy to link these pictures to the respective post IDs. Returning to the CSV file, of course, you can use any database or spreadsheet program to import the data. In this example, I would use Excel and I would open a new Excel spreadsheet and then go to data and from text CSV and then select the CSV file here and import. As you can see, Excel does quite a good job of recognizing the file structure and format of the CSV file. Everything checks out, so I will press load. And now we have the final output, which is the tabulated information that we extracted from the Hong Kong Science Park Facebook page. So we are gone from here to here. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful and you can also apply the same skills and techniques to your own uh, projects in the future. Uh, in the meantime, if you ever have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, get in touch and I'll try to answer as best as I can. Thank you.